Wind energy, or wind power, describes the process by which wind is used to generate electricity. Turbines convert the kinetic energy and the wind into mechanical power. Mechanical power can also be utilized directly for specific tasks, such as pumping water. Wind is caused by the uneven heating of the atmosphere by the sun, variations in the Earth's surface, and rotation of the Earth. Mountains, bodies of water, and vegetation all influence wind flow patterns. Wind turbines convert the energy in wind to electricity by rotating propeller-like blades around a rotor. The rotor turns the drive shaft, which turns an electric generator. Three key factors affect the amount of energy a turbine can harness from the wind. Wind speed, air density, and swept area. The equation for wind power is power equals one half into density of air into swept area into cube of the wind speed. Wind speed The amount of energy in the wind varies with the cube of the wind speed, in other words, if the wind speed doubles, there is eight times more energy in the wind. Small changes in wind speed have a large impact on the amount of power available in the wind. Density of the air The more dense the air, the more energy received by the turbine. Air density varies with elevation and temperature. Air is less dense at higher elevations than at sea level. And warm air is less dense than cold air. All else being equal, turbines will produce more power at lower elevations and in locations with cooler average temperatures. Swept area of the turbine The larger the swept area, the size of the area through which the rotor spins. The more power the turbine can capture from the wind. A small increase in blade length results in a larger increase in the power available to the turbine. Anything that moves has kinetic energy scientists and engineers are using the wind's kinetic energy to generate electricity. Wind energy, or wind power, is created using a wind turbine, a device that channels the power of the wind to generate electricity. The wind blows the blades of the turbine, which are attached to a rotor. The rotor then spins a generator to create electricity. According to the U.S. Geological Survey, there are 57,000 wind turbines in the United States, both on land and offshore. Wind turbines can be standalone structures, or they can be clustered together in what is known as a wind farm. While one turbine can generate enough electricity to support the energy needs of a single home, a wind farm can generate far more electricity, enough to power thousands of homes. Wind farms are usually located on top of a mountain or in an otherwise windy place, in order to take advantage of natural winds.